Hey, what's up guys? My name is Double D and this is the last week's Tavern Brawl gameplay. I say last week's because I know you guys will be watching this a week from now on Monday. So yeah, as you can see I have the Tavern Brawl quest as well. So that's what we'll be doing right now. This week we have Boombot vs Anoyotron. I heard that these two heroes are pretty balanced. We'll have to see how it goes. We get a classic pack as well, that's good to know. Okay, let's get started. I know your Tron is better in a sense that there is no RNG involved. You know exactly what minion is going to get the Divine Shield and Taunt, where with the Boom Bots you can't really control where the bombs are gonna go, but on the other hand, these two random Boom Bots might help you control the board even better, so I'm not sure. But yeah, that's why I feel like these two heroes are pretty balanced. Gadgets and Jouster. Okay, that's important that we want the Joust, because now I can play the Cogmaster, otherwise I wouldn't. That's kind of unfortunate, but we have the mini bot here. Hopefully he doesn't hero power it down again and get a 2 for 1 with the jouster. Okay, that's better. Um, thanks. Alright, I guess we'll take the freebie. Free pack, guys. Let's see what we got here. Mm, not so good. As strange as it may seem, I think it's right to keep the sheep here because it's not guaranteed that we will get another 2-drop and this could help with clearing his early minions. Well, that's a terrible hand. Mad Bomber? That's surely better than the sheep. Ah, oh, punish. Maybe it was better to play the sheep after all. Well, it's never too late. Actually it is, but in this case it isn't. Hero power doesn't really save him here. My hand is very spell heavy, which is not so good, but we have the Brewmaster for next turn. Metal Tooth Leaper, that's not something you see every day, not many mech hunters out there. Blessing of Might, face. Unfortunately, no punish for him. He got free 4 damage to the face. That one bomb to the 3 3 actually matters a lot. Oh, never mind. I think this is a good enough board to light bomb, although the bad thing about it is he gets the initiative after this, which is not good, but that's all I got right now, so yeah. Dr. Boom dies to the 7-6, but I really don't wanna crush that, so... Oh man, I forgot about the hero power, the divine shield is a pretty big deal here. He gets really punished if he goes face here, so let's hope he does. Nope. I am ready. Oh. 
I don't know why I did that, I just gave him two spare parts. I am not on my game today. Yeah, let's just crush and play the Shadow Bomber. Oh, that's some lost value right there. Did he really freeze the boom bot? I guess it makes sense, but I still have the hero power. Let's play the jouster first. Oh, that's fine. Nice. So yeah, we're basically out of cards, we have the Twisting Nether in case of some kind of disaster. Other than that, from now on we're just top decking. Okay, well now we have nothing. Freeze again. This game is turning out to be longer than I thought it would be. Arcanine Reaper, not bad. Oh, that's a combo because of the Wind Fury. One mana heal for 8, pretty good. Alright, seems like he's out of cards too, so looks like we got this. He got Wind Fury, so we have to kill it. Kind of an awkward trade here, but alright. I'll trade in the 4-4 because this way we deal more damage and the plan is to kill him as fast as possible because he might top deck something really good. Like that. But it's fine since we have the taunt spare part. With the matter bomber we might have lethal, let's see. Yeah, we just need 3 bombs to hit face. Let's go for it. There we go. I'll keep the flame cannon for the mech warper or Krogmaster. Well, that's a good hand. It's really important to have minions early in this brawl, because if you lose the board control early, it's hard to get it back. Oh no, mini bots. I guess we go for the bombs. Are you kidding me? 
Well, he's training for sure, so might as well go face. Play the 3-3. Three, three. I'll save the Leaper for later. We might get some value from it. Hoghammer, that's pretty rough. Okay, the bombs are pretty important here. I need both of them not to hit face. Okay, that's something at least. Next turn we can bounce in blade whatever he plays and then play the leaper. That's a pretty good bouncing blade target. Dr. Boom is the obvious play here. The king of Boombats. Reversing switch. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He's just going for it. Forgot to attack. Um, I really don't think I can rely on the Boombot hitting this guy for two, so let's just reverse and switch and guarantee the kill. Play the Zapomatic as well. Okay, that's lethal for sure. Let's replace everything, these cards are not good by themselves. Oh that's quite better, and I see why they put King's Defender in this deck, I can see it working. Wow, we actually won the Joust! And we top deck the 2 drop. King's Defender is basically a bad fiery war axe here. 
But that's alright, because we curve out fine. This is where the hero power comes in. It lets us keep the snow chugger alive. Clockwork Knights on the Zapomatic, pretty strong. And at this point, I'm just racing him because I don't think he can win back the board. It's interesting how the Clockwork Knights and Repair Bots are quite similar. I think the Repair Bot is even better. It's a shame that nobody plays the two cards. Demolisher could be scary, but this is just too good to pass up. And I've already given up the board control, so yeah, just face. We've been doing pretty good so far with this brawl, on both sides. Uh, by the way, I have no idea why the Ogre Ninja is in this deck. That's a good hand. Uh, there is no way I'm cutting on the Boombats hitting twice, so let's just Dark Bomb that. It's interesting how he passed last turn and saved the Clockwork Gnome for the hero power. Of course, of course both of them will go face. Let's just give it another try. And I guess we trade like this. Shredder and Yeti are pretty tempting, but I really don't want to trade into the 1-1. One -one. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I am done. Iron Jesus is not on my side today. Or any other day, really. But yeah, I'm done with this. I've been getting good opening hands, maybe that's why my RNG is not working. Yeah, that's probably the reason. Coin this out, and hopefully we get to hero power next turn.
No, of course. What was I even thinking? Minibat to the rescue. Why would you play a 3-2 into my shielded minibot? That's just wrong. It was better to hero power and pass. Alright, I'll take it. Hello, hello, hello. That's what you get for relying on the boom bat RNG. Alright, looks like we're in good shape so far. Oh, this is too tempting. I just have to do it. Look at that combo. Job's done indeed. I kind of feel sorry for this guy. But anyway, I had fun playing, although I did rage quit that one game, but that's besides the point. There's two more gameplays coming this week, so make sure you look out for that. I won't be uploading as frequently as now, because I'm busy at school and stuff, but don't worry, there will be gameplays still. I got all kinds of games to play, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you all for sticking around. That's it for now, I talk too much I know. Anyway, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys, peace!